All right, guys, listen, before we get to the video, and trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss the end of this one. It was just crazy. We have a giveaway going on, ball day giveaway. If you haven't heard about it or you haven't signed up yet for some reason, click that link in the description. It's completely free. We're giving a ball away each day for the remainder of the Masters. We got a few more days left, a few more days. So a few more free balls to give away. It's absolutely free. Click that link in the description and stay tuned and comment, what do you think about the end of this video? See you soon. It's just a good morning. This is what making a cup feels like. We got an empty bowling alley. We're here early. About to bowl some matches. Probably some of the funnest bowling you'll ever do on the PBA tour. I get to see my good buddy Mike Flynn again this morning. What up? Do you ever leave this place? No, I don't. <laughs> Nope, no I don't. Just, just here all the time. All the time. Hey, if you haven't already, what is it, PWBA? Yeah, YouTube hey. page. Hey, here's my promo. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Brad and Kyle. We just launched a PWBA YouTube channel. There'll be a link down below in the description. We're at like 800 subs. Let's see if the Brad and Kyle audience can get it up to, oh, what would be a good goal? These guys are kind of scrubby. No, actually they're pretty good. We'll go with 3,000 by the end of the day, 24 hours after this vlog. Thanks, back to your regularly scheduled program. Yeah, go sub. Don't make us look bad. <laughs> PWBA <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> go subscribe. Watch some women bowling. It'll be awesome. But uh, yeah, Masters matches. Just gotta win some. 2-0 today. That's all we need. 2-0? 2-0. Oh. Short day. You gotta start 1-0 oh, though first. game. Uh, Kyle obviously won. He is running to get some food. Uh, so we're going to hang out and watch some of these other matches. Basically the whole house is bowling. Darren's bowling, Mitch is bowling, KP's bowling, Packy's bowling. So we're going to get some shots of those guys. And then we're going to ask Kyle uh, what, what went right and what went wrong in his first match. And then he has to bowl Chris Barnes. So we'll see how he feels about that. But that's all I got guys.
we're like 40 minutes out around two. Um, and just watch some of those matches. I talked to Packy by his match and he said Buttrip just had the nuts. Like, it looked like it. He could have shot 830 if he tried. I guess he tried a different ball. The last few frames still got the 790. It's just the crazy thing. You go look at the scores on the bracket and like, you know, I snuck out my match with 680, but then you watch Wesley. Uh, if you guys were watching it, I don't know. Did you get it? The 300 with Kev? I got Kev's last ball. Last ball? Yeah, the 300. So Kev shoots 300 to win by 10 sticks. There was the back 15 to catch Wesley. Dude, it's unreal. So that's kind of what we talk about here. Like, you got to bowl good, number one. But a lot of it is too, man. It's just these guys are all killers. Anyone can crush you. So you just got to stay focused and hopefully some things go your way. But yeah, we're about to start. We were bowling the legend, the legend Chris Barnes. I don't think I've ever bowled him heads up in the Masters. So it's kind of one of those things like, at least I can say, you know, at the end of the career when it's all said and done, we're, you know, talking and having a beer or something, I can be like, yeah, I bowled Chris Barnes in the Masters, so. But once we get out there, it's a killer attitude, but I'm excited to bowl him, so. We, uh, apparently the pair was pretty tough. I'm following Darren. Uh, he shot like 520 or something like that, not a good score. Uh, and then Dombrowski, he's a great player. Patrick Dombrowski, yeah, he's a tough guy to beat. He had a little 600, so um, yeah, we uh, made some ball service changes. We're gonna kind of stick to close to the same game plan. I'm sure we're gonna be playing a little further left, right? You scouted the pair for me, Dennis? You were scouting it, so I walked away. Oh, man, <laughs> I went and took a nap. And then it got ugly. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe I didn't want to see any of it. No <laughs> preconceived notions going in, so yeah. Uh, another three game match against the legend Chris Barnes. Let's go get ready.
Wow. <laughs> that was one of the craziest endings of a match I've ever been a part of. Obviously, you guys just saw it. Um, yeah, it was lucky on my end. Uh, you know, it was, it was awesome bowling Chris. Like I said, I just it's cool bowling a guy like Chris Barnes, a guy you look up to. Um, and, man, we've all been there. We've all thought we had it locked and made a bad shot or this and that. And, uh, you know, you, in that moment, like, it's such a weird moment, if I'm going to be honest with you, because, like, you, there's a part of you that kind of feels bad for him because you've been it, you messed it up just like that before, and you'll do it again. But then you're just really happy <laughs> because you won. So, you know, Chris pulled an awesome game. He definitely had a better look than I did. Um, and in my, what I, what I was focusing on was, I knew my look wasn't great. I knew I could probably hit the pocket if I threw it really good. And going into those last three or two frames, uh, that's what I did. Kind of committed to what I needed to do. I was throwing a Zen on the right lane, the lane that was hooking a lot more, uh, and a phase two on the left lane. So in that ninth frame, I moved back right a little bit, which is a cardinal rule you never do. I was like, I ain't got nothing to lose. I just barely, I just bucketed twice. So, moved right through the Zen and pured it off my hand, dude. I'm not gonna lie, like I laced it and I was like, dude, that is gonna be so good. I was so happy and I'm like, damn, I don't know if I can throw it that good again. <laughs> so I get over on the other lane and I've been controlling the pocket with this phase two pretty well. So, got the first one. The first one was really good. Second one, I got it in just a little bit, but I'm playing like this weird roll fluff thing and it laid there. And I'm like, holy crap, man, I gotta force him to do something now. And I, I needed 10, like 10 was big because uh, if he goes strike, nine spare. Oh, look at that, Sax is calling me. One second, Sax, we gotta finish the video. Um, yeah, if I go, if I strike there, then uh, strike, nine spare, we tie, right? So I'm like, and then I ring 10, which to be fair, like I'm, you know, I wanted it, but it was, I'm just lucky I didn't 10 pin on any of those other shots. But no, yeah, that was crazy. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for following along. Uh, we have an early day tomorrow, 8 a.m. We're still in the winner's bracket. The uh, the dream's still alive. I just got to take some advice from the, the old bald eagle over here on how to make this show. Well, let's see. My third match was EJ Tackett, and he shot 540. So, Russ Oviat needs to shoot 540. That's my advice. And then, I bowled Parker Bone. And he shot 570. So that's what I need. That's my story. <laughs> I Pretty would. easy at that point. No offense to my opponents, but I would love it if they do that tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, Russ Oviat hasn't shot less than uh, 500 for the first two. So uh, I think we got to do some striking tomorrow. Yeah, anyway, that's it. Crazy day. Um, yeah, tomorrow, winner's bracket. Make sure you guys sign up for the giveaway. We've got a few more days left on that, a few more winners. So if you haven't signed up yet, make sure you get in there. Link in the description. And yeah, 2-0. We said we just had to go 2-0. To the greatest day of bowling. Greatest day. I think I... Uh, There's going to be a show tomorrow night, right? There's going to be a show tomorrow night, yeah. I think I lost a few years of my life today. You better uh, get to sleep by 8. 8, yep, that's the plan. 8, you heard of the man. So we're going to get dinner. See you guys.